if the researcher is interested in validating the data collected through questionnaire or interview schedule, the researcher may like to make observations of the ongoing processes or the phenomena in real context. And observation schedule are the tools which help the researcher to observe the ongoing processes or the phenomena in the context. There can be two different types of observations which can be made by the researcher. One is systematic direct observation where the researcher does not participate in the ongoing processes or the activities. He or she acts as an observer and remain inconspicuous. There can be participant observations where the researcher becomes a part of the ongoing processes, phenomena, and he tries to behave in a natural manner like other members who are participating in the activity and does not convey his identity to the person who is involved in the process. Observation schedule can include items or questions in the form of checklists, rating scales, counters or frequency recorder and the researcher can also take field notes. And to arrive at the content of any observation schedule, the same process of stating the purpose of study, writing the research questions for the research study, breaking down the research question into criterion questions and then for each criterion question identifying the item or the question to be included in the observation schedule is decided. So let's have a quick look at when checklists are to be included then this is an example of a checklist. Please tick mark the activities performed by a teacher in class and below it the various activities which a teacher's per teacher perform in a classroom situation are enlisted, gained attention, stated the learning outcomes, tested the previous knowledge of learners, explained the content, asked questions, provided feedback and so on. So the person who has to observe an ongoing activity in the classroom has to put tick mark on the activities which are performed by the teacher in the class. There can be rating type item where the observer tries to rate the process, rate the facilities, rate the ongoing processes on the scale maybe 5 point, maybe 7 point or 9 point. So here you can see the difference in the checklist and the rating. Now the observer has to rate how the teacher gained the attention, whether it was excellent, very good, good, satisfactory or poor. So likewise how the teacher stated the learning outcomes, how he tested the previous knowledge, how he explained the contents and asked the questions and provided the feedback. So the observer is now rating the phenomena on a five point scale. Observer can use counters and frequency recorders. Now if you are interested in finding out how many questions are posed by the teacher in a class, then you need to sit in the class and observe the teacher for 45 minutes or 50 minutes, the class time, and you need to go on recording, putting a frequency mark as the teacher poses a question. So you can see if you are interested in quantifying any activity which is undertaken by the teacher in the class, you need to record it in terms of the frequency or the counters. 
so you can use counters or frequency recorder the observer can also write long field notes for example you are not carrying any observation schedule but you are sitting in the classroom and you are trying to observe the teacher as he proceeds and go on recording the activities he perform in your own words so field notes means the observer tries to take notes in his own words for example the teacher introduced the topic with the help of video clip on waste disposal practices and raised a few questions to arouse the curiosity among the learners so you go on recording the important events that are taking place in the classroom situation so in nutshell we can include items of varied nature if we are using structured into observation schedule and if we are going for field notes then you have all the aspects which you need to assess and then you go on recording about those aspects so these are different types of items or questions which can form part of observation schedule